Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki. I'm so happy to have you guys back for another episode, a special edition of Mexa Mondays. It's special because it is for my grandma's kitchen. She's right here. Lava tu mano. Here she is. <laughs> here she is. Oh. <laughs> Today she's gonna teach me how to make mole. Mole is one of my favorite, favorite dishes from when I was a kid. That's the one thing I always ask whenever I come back and visit. She's finally gonna teach me because every time that I have tried making it, it does not come out the same. I'm gonna show y'all what the ingredients are so we can get get this going. Hey. <laughs> I used to love when YouTubers did this. They just like cut a whole little part of their video out while they did editing. <laughs> Throughout the video, I'm gonna be doing some cuts like this because I had minimal storage. I'm hoping that I can fill in some holes almost to the recipe and the way that we did things. My grandma was cooking so fast. She was not waiting for no one. She also told me from the jump she didn't want to be in the video. She said that I could use her hands and her voice, but she's a little bit shy. So you might see her here and there, who knows? We're gonna use two sticks of celery, dos ramas de apio, um, a little bit of cilantro. This is, she looks a little bit sad, but it's okay. It's gonna be good. You're gonna use, you're gonna use two cloves of garlic, dos dientes de ajo, half an onion, mitad de una cebolla. This is sea salt, sal de mar. You use however much you would you typically use when you cook. This is up to you. This is chicken bouillon in the bin. Potome de pollo. If you have a tub, you're gonna use two spoonfuls. Si tienes uno de este tamaño, vas a usar dos cucharadas. Si es en polvo, dos cucharadas. Yes. You're also gonna need mole, of course. We like to use the Doña Maria brand. Doña Maria is the best. Dos tazas de arroz. Two cups of rice. Y 3.3 kilos de pollo. Three point... Ah. Pollo va a ser... Un kilo y medio. That is equal to 3.3 pounds of chicken breast. Those are all the ingredients. That's everything that you're going to need. And we're going to start off by boiling a large pot of water and starting to prep it with all the ingredients that I just mentioned. Yeah, Para lo que vamos a hacer son dos ajos grandes. You get two cloves of garlic and you put it in boiling water. Ooh. <laughs> Make sure you wash your fruits and veggies always. Pro things only. Washy, washy, washy. Honestly, this smells so freaking good. I already know it's gonna hit. Put some salt in there. Okay. Canto de pollo o dos cubitos. And then you're gonna put all of the chicken in there. Eshugita. This is chicken breast. Un kilo y medio, más o menos. Three point three pounds of chicken. Se deja unos 20 minutos. And now that you have all of that in there, you're gonna let it boil for 20 minutes. Cuando ya hierve, okay. entonces ya se tapa. Once it's boiling, then you can close it up. Once it's done, you take it out of the pot and then you transfer it over. Because we are going to shred it up, lo vamos a desmenuzar into tiny little pieces. Ta-da! And then you have to wait for it to cool. El secreto está en que mueles el caldito. Con todo lo que, con todo esto que se cogió. Uh-huh. Y lo le echaste molito. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> You're gonna empty the rice into the pot. En el arroz. Luego le vamos a poner agua. You want the water to cover the rice. El agua tape el arroz completamente. Vaciamos el mole. We empty the whole thing of mole in the blender. And then you're gonna wanna take the water that you use to the water that you use for your chicken. You boil the chicken with the celery and everything. You're gonna add it to this so it adds a little bit more of flavor. Yeah, we're 
Ahora se hace todo con la sushi. Le ponemos el caldo. ¿Cómo cuánto le ponemos? Pues mucho. Mucho. Para que no se espese. You want to put a lot of the broth so it's not super thick. But just watch out and make sure that you don't put too, too much because then it's going to be really runny. Just try to figure out a good middle for the portions that you want to eat. This is around how much we put. Así lo llenamos. Y ahora lo vamos a mezclar. And then you just blend it up and you're done. Así nada más es poquita para que no se pegue el pollo. Vamos a poner poquita manteca aquí. Manteca is lard. So if you don't have lard, I mean, I don't know. Maybe butter? Question mark. I'm gonna put the shredded chicken. Ponemos el pollito. Give it a good mix. Dejamos unos minutos aquí el pollo para que se impregne con poquita grasita que le pusimos. Okay, for this part, once you blend the water with the mole, you're gonna put it into where you were searing the chicken just now. And then you're just gonna give it a good mix. Lo mezclas. Lo mezclas, lo mezclas. This is how it should look if you're doing everything right. Así se debería ver. Muy bonito, muy sexy. Ya está listo el arroz. Ya está listo el arroz. Yummy. Ahora nos vamos a hacer unos platos y vamos a darle una calificación. Del 1 al 10. Look at her. Uh -huh. Boom. You put a little spoonful like this. I mean, this is honestly up to you how you want to serve this. This is usually, I'm not going to lie, probably eat a little bit more, but I'm not trying to be stingy right now. And then we're going to serve the rice as well. And then put it on the side like so. Perfect. Very good ratio. Ah, literally, I lost the end of this video. I, let me show you how it looks all plated up because it looks so freaking good and it was so good my cousin and i tried it and my cousin rated it a 10 out of 10 of course i'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10 just because when my grandma makes it like literally nothing can go wrong that woman can cook i know this was a little bit of a different format so i appreciate y'all sticking along i was honestly super excited to just get to spend some more time with my family and actually involve them in the whole cooking process for my channel because they all get really excited about it and just me practicing spanish so i appreciate y'all following along and just being patient I can't believe it's been a month of mexa mondays i am so so excited and so happy about how everything has been coming out and i'm just so thankful to be honest that i have a family that's so willing and open to share all the recipes with me thank y'all so much for watching this episode of mexa mondays i hope that y'all enjoyed espero que les haya gustado mucho provecho y los quiero mucho mucho see you next week <laughs>